Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you guys are good. So in this video, we are going to discuss some NUST entry test past paper questions, which are related to the topic applications of trigonometry. So we have already discussed questions from this chapter. Like we have discussed different identities, different graphs of trigonometric function. So now we will talk about some real world problems in being solved when using trigonometry. Okay. So let's get started. This is the very first question. The measure of the angle of depression. Angle of depression of an airport as observed by a pilot while flying at a height of 3000 meter. Okay. Now these are the three things. Angle of depression of an airport While flying at a height of 3000 meter means that if this is my horizontal base, this is my plane, and let's say this is the airport, the angle is 30 degrees. Obviously, you can draw your diagram as per your own understanding. The diagrams can vary, but the basic concept should be same. Now, this is the plane, this is the airport. And we know that this angle would be right angle triangle. Okay. Now, so far I've not read the question. I'm only discussing the diagram and all that stuff. So let's read the question now. How far is the plane from a point direct over the airport? This means that how far is this is the point? direct over the airport, like this is the point and then this is the point on the horizontal um, road. So we need to find the distance of this red point and airport because the question is how far is the plane from a point direct over the airport, right? So we need to find this and we know that the plane is flying at a height of 3000 meter. So this side is <clears throat> perpendicular side and this side is base side and we need to find the base because that will give us the distance of plane from a point direct over the air. Okay. Now, whenever we have base and perpendicular, we can use tan. So tan, the angle is 30 degree equals perpendicular divided by base. So we will have base equals perpendicular side is 3000 and tan 30 is 1 by under root 3. So this will become this. So the answer would be B. Okay. Again, if we <clears throat> talk about the question, the question was easy. Initially, it looked complicated, but as soon as I had my drawing in front of me, it became very easy. So, as I've been telling you guys, whenever we are solving such questions, make sure that you plot your diagram there and then, just so things become easier for you. Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about the second question. Okay, so we have in a triangle ABC, A is 11, B is 9, and C is 19. Now, what is ABC? ABC basically are three sides, right? And the question is, which angle is the smallest? For example, if I make this triangle, so one side is 19. The other one is 11 and then there's one side 9. And this is C angle. Then this is B angle and then this is A angle, right? So the side opposite to the angle capital B would be small b. So small b is 9. The side opposite to the angle capital A would be small a that is 11. And the side opposite to C would be small c, that is 19. Now the question is, which angle is the smallest? Okay. 
So the side, the smallest side would basically have the smallest opposite angle. The smallest side is nine. This means that the angle B or beta is the smallest. Here they have not used um, A, B, C, A, they, they have used alpha, beta, gamma. So B would be the answer. But just remember, the smallest side corresponds to the smallest angle in case of a triangle. Okay, let's talk about the third question. Find the distance of a man from the foot of a 200 meter high tower if the angle of elevation of its top as observed by the man is 60 degrees. Okay, again, I need to draw the diagram. So this is a man and then this is a cliff. It's a cliff that is to 100 meters high, sorry, it's a tower, it's 200 meters high. And the angle of elevation of its top as observed by the man is 60 degrees. This means that this angle would be 60 degrees. Okay, so let me just um, rub the extra lines which I made just so things are clear. Okay. So we know that this pink line is my tower and it is 200 meters long. And the angle of elevation of its top as observed by the man is 60 degrees. This would be the right angle. So what is the question? Find the distance of a man from the foot. This is the foot of the tower and this is the man. So I need to find this distance. So again, this side is the perpendicular side. This side is the base. I need to use tan theta equals perpendicular over base. So perpendicular is 200 divided by base. I need to find out the base. So this will give me base equals 200 divided by tan 60. That is 115.47. So this means that the answer would be A. <clears throat> so this question was like the first question, but in the first question, we had angle of depression. Here we have angle of elevation. Uh, all the other content was same. And just by drawing the diagram, I would easily be able to solve the question. Okay. Let's talk about the next question. So this is the fourth question. Okay. Sine square theta by two equals, okay, we don't know what sine square theta by two equals because I've been telling you guys that I'm not the type of teacher who would encourage you to learn too many formulas, but we know a famous trigonometric um, function that basically gives tan theta by two equals plus minus under root one minus cos theta by two. Since they are interested in square, so I will square both sides just so I get a square on sine. So this will give me sine square theta by 2 equals 1 minus cos theta by 2. So the answer is B. Again, as I have been telling you guys, there's no need, there's no point in Memorizing all different types of formulas when you can just make up the formula using the one which we have to learn, right? Okay. So let's talk about the next question. So this is the fifth question. Okay. In a right angle triangle, ABC, now ABC is a right angle triangle with right angle at B, which one is true? Now all these look like um, they have, uh, you know, tried using the Pythagoras theorem, but we cannot tell it directly. We need to make a right angle triangle. That would be A, B, and C. And they are telling us that right angle is at B. So I have drawn it correctly. The side opposite to right angle would be small p, opposite to the angle c would be small c, and opposite to the angle a would be small a. And now I know that square of 
uh, sum of square of the two small sides equals the square of the big side. So this is basically C. A square plus C square equals B square. I can always just, you know, swap them and get C. Okay. So this uh, was the fifth question. So let's talk about the next question. Let me zoom in a bit so it's more clear. Okay. Let's talk about the sixth question. Which one is true? Now, all these make me think of the cost formula which we use in different uh, questions or when we're interested in finding out a side, when we have two sides in one angle. So this time around, the answer would be D because the formula is A square equals B square plus C square minus 2BC cause A. Okay. So this is how we do it. Basically, square of one side equals sum of square of other two sides minus sign, then two, this side, this side into cause of the angle opposite to this side, right? So this is why D is the answer. Obviously, A, B, C can be swapped. They can be mixed. That is not an issue. But the basic thing that we have B, C here because we have B and C here. We have cause alpha here because we have A square here uh, should be um, written correctly. Okay. So let's talk about another question. So we have the seventh question. Okay, the measure of the angle of elevation of a kite is 30 degrees. Okay, the string of the kite is 250 meters long. If the say in the string is 5 meters, find the height of the kite. Okay, now this question is easy, but there's this little thing which we need to understand. First thing is first, the angle of elevation of kite means that let's say if this is uh, the ground and there's someone is uh, flying the kite so let's say this is the kite and the angle of elevation would be 30 degrees. Angle of elevation means that this angle between the horizontal surface and the kite string would be 30 degrees. The string of kite is 250 meters long. This thing is 250 meter long minus 5 meter because we have the statement. And what do we need to do? We need to find the height of the kite. By height, they mean this X. And this is the right angle. So again, we have our diagram and we can easily just use trigonometry to find the side X. Now, what do we have? We have a hypotenuse side, the side in front of right angle, and we have a perpendicular side. So what do we use in this case? We use sine 30 equals perpendicular over hypotenuse. So this is perpendicular over hypotenuse would be 245. So this means that my answer would be Sine 30 is 1 by 2, so 245 by 2 equals x or the height, and that would be 122.5. Okay, so this height turned out to be 122.5. So again, this question was simple. Again, there was the concept of um, angle of elevation. So this angle would be 30 between the kite string and the horizontal surface. But the fact that we had to do 250 minus 5 is important, right? Although the string of the kite is 250 meter long, but we had this statement, which means that we need to do 250 minus 5 because that would be the final length of the string. Okay. And this was the kite. And this is the, uh, this is the guy who's flying the kite. Okay. Let's talk about... The eighth question now. So the eighth question says, which one is known as Hero's formula? Some people call it Heron's formula, but yeah, whatever you call it. Uh, okay. Now, basically, if I give you a little background about this formula, this formula is used to find the area of a triangle. Um, and uh, you have all the sides of that triangle. So if I talk about Heron's formula here, it basically is
this okay so we are discussing herons formula okay so let's say there's a triangle with a b and c sides so first we need to find half perimeter what do i mean by half perimeter perimeter is a plus b plus c sum of all the sides when i say half i need to divide this by 2 and this is giving me s what is s s is used in herons formula so area of my triangle would be equal to under root this half perimeter multiplied by half perimeter minus one side then again s minus p and then s minus c so this is the formula and this is c so we call it herons formula okay let's talk about the ninth question now in a triangle a side is 17 b is 19 and c is 15 the largest angle is so as i have told you already in order to do such questions we need to draw our triangle with let's say this is 19 this is 17 and this is 15 okay so this side this angle would be b and this angle would be a and this angle would be c okay now the longest side will correspond to the largest angle so beta angle or b angle would be the largest angle and the answer in this case would be b because this is the largest side right and this is how we decide if the question was to find the smallest angle we would have looked up for the smallest side because smallest side correspond to smallest angle and largest side corresponds to largest angle so this time around the question was largest angle so we just had to find the largest side and we got the largest angle as b okay so these were some questions which are related to basically applications of trigonometry where we use trigonometry in order to solve some real world problems we have used different concepts of trigonometry like angle of depression angle of elevation then the fact that largest side will correspond to largest angle smallest will correspond to smallest angle then some trigonometric um, identities as well i just told you how to make up your own these are the ones which you will have to learn and then we had a discussion about pythagoras theorem in this question then this was a simple cos rule and so we have discussed all these questions so i hope that you would have understood every question if not then you can just comment down below in the comment section so i'll come up with another explanation for you that is it for today thank you so much take care allah fest